What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Three and broadcast here. I'm your host, RT Snipe, and we are back with some more NBA action. This time in the it's the first game of the week uh, series that I'm starting on this uh, channel. So this is the game of the week for November the second, and it's probably <laughs> one of the most funnest games I'll probably ever see in the entire season. It's gonna be the Golden it's gonna be the Golden State Warriors versus the LA Clippers, and these two teams actually played in the playoffs. If you don't remember play play in the playoffs last year. So and and the reason why this team this game is gonna be so good is because they're exact mirrors of it. So they played exactly like I, like I know they play different places but they're exact mirrors of each other they have both have two excellent point guards that can do perimeter shots especially with Golden State they have Clay Thompson Steph Curry and on the LA Clippers side they got JJ Reddick which is just a laser laser at the three-point shooting plus Chris Ball which is an assist machine and he's a lobber and he just he can just throw down assists and they also got two great fours and Blake Griffin and Andre Iguodala which I believe that Andre Iguodala, Iguodala uh, is one of the better uh, forwards and leads. He's a little bit underrated, I believe, but he is a really good forward. And also two great rim protectors as well with DeAndre Jordan, who's a great blocker, and Andrew Bogut, who can just do the mind games with you and actually, you know, can have be a really good rim, rim protector. And I believe that at the end of the season, I'm going to say this right now, that both of these teams will make the playoffs, no doubt about it. And I think Golden State may be third seed, Clippers may be fourth seed, I'm guessing. Maybe third or fourth. If, if Golden State is second, maybe. No, no, no. I'll say Golden State is maybe third, but I be I mean the goal, what I'm trying to say is that Golden State and the Clippers are probably back to back. If they're if the Golden State is is probably third, Clippers will be fourth. If Golden State is fourth, the Clippers will be fifth, and on and so on. So let's start with the first team in Golden State in the past. They were knocked out by the Clippers in uh the last playoff uh playoff uh game. And uh here's some predictions about Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. I believe that Klay Thompson will lead the NBA in three-point shooting, because Klay Thompson, in my opinion, is better than Steph Curry at three-point shooting. Klay Thompson is a beast in the perimeter, and he is a deadly machine behind it in the three-point shot. And Steph Curry will probably be top ten in the three-point uh, shooting. Now let's get right right down to it with their new coach. They fired uh they fired Mark Jackson, and they got Steve Kerr. Now this is the first time coach he had a. They gave him a whole bunch of money. People were shocked that he got this amount of money to be a head coach, but he got the money, and he's head coaching. Uh, Head coaching the Golden State Warriors, and I believe that he will be the uh, game coach of the year at the end of the year. I believe so because I mean his game. I mean he he did win championships with the Chicago Bulls, I believe, but I believe that he will use his knowledge as a guard to help Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, and help and use Popovich's methods. I I believe he'll use Popovich's methods to coach a team. And but but just like the Cavaliers, like I said, in the, uh, like when I said with, against Cleveland, the Knicks, uh, this team really don't. I mean, they they're not a coach worthy team. They don't need a coach. They just need somebody to guide them. And I believe that's what this team is going to be all about. They don't need like a they don't need a coach, but they want but they want a coach to guide the players. And I believe that this team will also be crazy on the offense. But I believe they still need to work on the defense. They know they got uh, Andrew Bogut. I know they got Andre Iguodala, which is somewhat of a great defender. But they need to uh, definitely. Uh, pull up their defending a little bit. Now let's go with the LA Clippers, which was it, the LA Clippers team as a whole rocked the NBA last season with Donald Sterling saying these terms and racist bigotry, or however you call it. And he mostly just caused a scandal throughout the whole NBA uh, season. But Donald Sterling is out. I don't know who they got. Oh, who uh, Steve Ballmer, I believe, from Microsoft is now uh, the uh, owner of the Clippers. So Donald Sterling's out. Uh, Steve Ballmer's in. They still keep the coach, Mark Jackson. No, wait. No, Mark Jackson with the Clippers. Golden State Warriors was with... Who do they have? No, Clippers had Doc Rivers. Okay, Doc Rivers is their coach. God, I'm so stupid. Doc Rivers is coach. Mark Jackson was out for the Golden State Warriors. But they have still have Doc Rivers as their coach. And they have top two... They have probably... The biggest two offensive powers powerhouses on any team, like combined, and which Chris Paul and Blake, Blake Griffin. I mean, these two players will probably just lob, they'll shoot, they'll dunk, they'll assist each other. These two te these guys are probably the most cohesive cohesive pairing in the NBA today. They're the most two co cohesive pairings, I believe. So, and like, and this team like is with the, with the uh, with the clip with the Golden State Warriors. They're good on the, they're good on the defense. Uh, they're going on defense. They're better on defense than I believe than Golden State, and they're probably average on the offense with uh Golden State. But I believe they are better with the defense with DeAndre Jordan and uh Blake Griffin also has a good defensive player. And just like I said, as as a result of this game, I believe that just like in the playoffs last season, the LA will win. But I believe they'll win by eight or less points. I think so, guys. If you enjoyed this prediction, click that like button down below. If you like any of our content, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, this has been your broadcast. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and peace!